techno at, at, at the right time was pretty interesting in like a in like a pretty experimental way and not in a stupid way or not in the way that it's turned out to be and then yeah if you grew up and you were like a teenager in the 2000s yeah you had electronic music being something super fresh but also something that you know could be used as a tool in order to achieve just music as opposed to like you know something made for to, to make people go you know nuts on the dance floor you know My generation is kind of doing pretty amazing stuff in the UK and, and in other you know parts. People like even Mount Kimby, for example, who plays at clubs, you know, their you know, their album is not really made for that and it's and it's kind of doesn't have a rock format like like Matt Deer's, but it, it's it's still kind of you know different than just a normal club album. I just think for an album, it's more interesting to have a story being told than just you know five club-friendly tracks and then three you know atmospheric kind of druggy tracks. Like that's just I think a stupid formula. Noise I didn't even know was has has actually a pretty interesting definition because if you think about it, noise is is it's the accumulation of a lot of sound right? But that you end up just hearing noise. So you end up just not hearing anything or, or you hear, you hear, but you don't hear. You know what I'm saying? And so that's kind of, in one way, you could take that as the, um, you know, I'm inspired by so many different things that when I try to kind of influence my work, you know, with a lot of different, different separate things that it's kind of like so many points of reference that in the end there's no point of reference, you know? Um, hopefully people won't be calling, you know, the album house or jazz or this or that. They'll probably call it chill out, which makes me want to shoot myself, but whatever. You know, that's what the market has to do to sell stuff nowadays. Um, it has a lot to do with the cover also, with me. It's me actually, the little, little baby. Um, in 1990 in between East and West Berlin. And so this, it's this space that is kind of separating East and West, you know, and it's kind of this no man's land, once again, noise, no man's land, you know? Um, like nothing and everything at the same time. It's like the whole conflict, you know? But it's also just nothing, because it's no man's land, you know? Um, so it's kind of, you know, I don't want to like, say everything about it because then there's no point of me even putting a title. But um, that's kind of sort of the, the beginning of, of why, why I called it that. Yeah. My father is an artist, my mother right now is making mirrors, actually. Um, they're both Chilean, they were born there, but I think the, the, what you really see in the music is just the, this idea of separation, the, the fact that I left in New York and I came back. I think if that, that's kind of, that's there for sure. But I can't really think of anything in Chile that, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna give you like a story, like I was walking down the street and there was this guy playing the bongo, and then like now I make Latin infused music. That's not the story, you know? It's 
not the story. For me, it's very blurry the moment that I started becoming a musician. And when people called me a musician for the first time, and when I was like 15, I found it very bizarre, even though I was making music. But I found it bizarre because I was making electronic music and no one in my school even knew what that was. It's just a constant working through your life that is creating who you are. It's not, you know, you know, it's, it's not so romanticized. I'm just trying to go against this idea of the romanticized musician that I don't think I am. For me, it's incredibly blurry why I became a musician. Honestly. Thank you so much. Merci.